The last time we were here, we wrote this amazing code that is in a Django app that was receiving our data from our ERP Next hook. Today, we would like to receive data inside of ERP Next from another application, okay? So this time we are not going to use Django, so we can we can go ahead and just suspend all these close. And we need to leave our ERP Next instance running. So this we, we need to have this running because ideally this is what we are going to use to test uh, whether our, our data is coming in. So when our data comes in, we are supposed to see it on the console here, on the console of ERP Next instance. So what, how are we going to do this? We are going to create our own Python script, all right? So I can clear this. I may not even need the browser anyway. So let me go back to my editor here and I create a new file, new file. I'm going to call this, um, and I would like to save this to the desktop. And I like to call it uh, web hook. You can call it whatever you want to do, or we can just call it send to erp.py. This is supposed to be a Python file. And the first thing that you are going to do here is to import requests. And then after that, we, we may also need to import, sorry, import requests, oh, this, no, we need requests. And then the next thing that we are going to be needing here is to import JSON, JSON, okay? Not JSON anything, just JSON. And then the next thing that we're going to be providing here is a URL where we want to send our data. Remember, we're using this application to send our data to an ERP next instance. So this one, you may leave it as blank, as blank for now. We are going to be needing to put a URL to our function, our ERP next function or method inside there. And then the next thing that we may need to do now is to send in data. Because remember, the format that we need to send out data from a, from a, from a Python script is we can just do some uh, 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 or request a, a variable here you don't need to call it that you can call it anything i can decide to call it karani equals requests remember requests is what we had up there then you're going to provide here the post request and then after you provide the, the, the post request the next thing that you need to provide here is a number of things the first one is url url is what you'll be putting in here then a comma the next thing that you may need to provide is data and data is going to be something uh, is the data that you want to send so i'm going to be showing you how to put that and you may need also to convert this this data to json so you may need to do json dot dot dumps dumps json dot dumps and then here you may need to you you need to pass in the data variable that you may have here so here again we are going to have data and we are going to see what data we'll have all right then we have that data there and the next thing that this is enough for now but sometimes you may need that you may find that you may need to pass in more variables here like the headers so if you need to pass in the headers uh, maybe for some reason your application is not accepting to send this data without the headers then what you need to do is just to provide the headers equals and then you pass in the headers that you may need to pass for instance in our case here we may just decide to pass something like maybe the authorization token the, in, in erp next we can get it from something like uh, like this so we may need something like authorization and then we pass in this so i can come back here and here i just need to do a uh, double quotes and then authorization and then after authorization the next thing i need to do outside here is that and then i pass in the token and the authorization that i need to pass all right so you may need to do that sometimes so that's what you do i may not need this for now so i can just or even leave it, delete it entirely I, uh, I uncomment this and now the data that I may be need I will be needing to send here today to keep this thing simple let's just uh, pass in the job title and the job title here is going to be software engineer and then I may also need to pass something like maybe years of experience and then I do something like nine years all right 
so i have a job title software engineer years of experience nine years this is the data that i'm going to be passing there and then the url this is going to be the url instead of erp next where you need to pass in this data so i may need to come to my erp next instance here uh, somewhere i may need to make this larger for the sake of your eyes and then I have this amazing application that I am using for other purposes, but we can use it today. I have um, a file that I have already created that we can privilege instead of creating new files called utils. So instead of this utils file, I can just come down here and define my function. Remember, it doesn't matter where you put this file, this, uh, this function. You just need to make sure that you have accessed it properly on your call. So I can call this function uh receive you can call it anything you want receive post data i can decide to call mine that and then i am going to come down here and say data equals and then i'm going to say frappe remember this is frappe so I'll do frappe dot request dot post okay frappe request post that alone will get my data into the system so if i come here and do something like print print and then let me just add some spaces here so that we can see where it is printing. Then I add that and then I break it. And this being a formatted string, I may need to do that. And then I'll print in data inside here. So the data that we received, I am printing it here. Okay. I may just need to do a return there just to kill that. Okay. So I am receiving this data here. Now, how do I access this function? The, only, the thing I need to do there is to pass. Look at the, how I'm accessing my system here. Let me just go back home. So I'm accessing it like <coughs> this is the main app, okay? The main URL. So I will need to pass that here, all right? <coughs> and then the next thing is API method. And then after the method, the next thing that you need to do is now to give the dotted path to your function. And the dotted path will be library management, and then the file is utils, and then the function is receive post data. So library management, I can come here and do library management dot utils utils dot, and then I can just go ahead and copy this function. Where is it? Just copy this function and put it here okay so if we got everything uh, uh correct if we now we call this uh, uh we call this uh, function it's supposed to send this data to our erp next instance and we, it, when it is printed we are supposed to see it on terminal here uh the data we are supposed to see that data on the terminal here so let me split this terminal and make this larger because we need that i can first of all uh, go to my CD to my desktop and then is that where we have it? Here we have yeah send data to py so I can just do Python and then send data to py okay when I run that let's see what we have scroll this away and here we have a not permitted you see so here we are not permitted to send that data here so we if we go back again and send it you see it's telling us that we are not permitted so we cannot send that data we have a 403 and this is where i was telling you that sometimes you may need to pass more parameters here so we may copy that and then or we we, or we, we did not even need to copy it and then here we may need to pass in authorization token so i'll copy it this is the headers that i was talking about so I'll copy this and then I will put it here and I'll just comment this out or I just delete it anyway. So I can just go ahead and delete that. So it is the same thing that we had only that now I have passed in the authorization token and now if we try to send our request again, go back here up and run it, we still have a not permitted error. So I think now what we need to do here is to come to a function here and provide uh, uh, the decorator. You remember the decorator that is used to uh, tell this function that it, you can access it from outside. So this is mostly frappe.whitelist 
and that is it and sometimes also to be safe so first of all let's see whether that works so go back to my console here send it and we have an object with name attribute error request object has no attribute post okay so why is it saying that let's see what we have here um yeah it's not post it's data sorry so this is frappe dot request dot data remember we sent data from that side so that is what we are supposed to access there so send it and you see here we have our object all right we have the job title software engineer and years of experience we have nine years of experience all right so if i zoom out here just a little you see we have these two objects so if we come when we come if in case we come here and maybe add something else like just add uh, test here and then we say this is a test we are supposed to see this when we come here look at this pro part properly i come here i run my script and here you see we have job title software engineer use of experience nine and test we have this is a test so this is sending this data from our python script here the script that we have written it is sending it to this function inside of erp next and it is being received and processed here so we are printing it on our terminal so when you are here now you can do whatever you want to do with this data and that is it that's how you do webhooks from other applications inside of erp next so you send data to your erp next instance thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video